Joanna Lamont was cleaning one of her blackboards when I visited her place called the Art Garage. Joanna has loved art all of her life. She taught art in schools in our area, and I thought I'd check out her credentials by asking her if she could draw a cat. <laughs> She could, and that's just good investigative reporting right there. Well, you don't have to ask Joanna Lamont to prove that she loves art, art of all kinds, and loves introducing young people to art. I love getting to see a child like light up when they've figured out something or when they have turned a mistake into something good and know that everything can be made, you know, from a mess, something good can come from it. Being an artist and a teacher, Joanna is concerned that not all students are exposed to all that art has to offer. Just be creative and have the opportunity to do that. Um, just in schools now, especially with COVID and different things like that, just the funding for the arts has just diminished. And, um, you know, it's just not a pro like an opportunity for every child. And so we really want to give parents and children the opportunity for their children to explore um, the arts um, because they may not have access to it at school. I might be one of the first customers here at the art garage. I drew this myself. In the fifth grade, I used to draw the sky just at the top like this. My art teacher, Mrs. Wilkes, told me that was stupid. The sky goes all the way to the ground. Mrs. Levon doesn't talk to you that way. Children have um, the opportunity to have structured um, activities here at the Art Garage. Some children really are driven by that structure, but some children may want to just come inside and go straight back to our back area behind me and just get creative. There's recycled materials, there's access to glitter, glue, um, paint, um, really anything creative that they can make a mess with. You can get all the information about hours, classes, and fees at Joanna's website. It's ladylines.com. She offers family memberships, or you can pay as you go as well. The ribbon cutting for the Art Garage is this Monday at 1 o'clock here at 2422 6th Street downtown. The mayor's going to be there and everything. I'm so excited. I can't believe I'm getting called the owner of something. <laughs> so... <laughs> I'll never forget Mrs. Wilkes from back in fifth grade, and art students who come to the art garage will never forget Joanna Lamont. These things that we're learning and showing them now and giving them the opportunity to do now, um, they will take those lessons with them forever. The art garage in downtown Tuscaloosa, now open for creativity, fun, and turning what might look like a mess to some into fine works of art. That's the Spirit of Alabama, Mike Royer, WVUA 23 News.